Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? It's Evil Knievel here. I'm bringing you a Black Ops 3 video. This one is on a map that you will see a hell of a lot in this. This one is Combine. I love bits of this map, but I just find it so overused that it just gets boring. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice map, it's quite small, so it's, I think it's like the modern day nuke town, if you like. I think that's why people are picking it. You can soon pick up a lot of kills in it and it's quite close quarters, meaning the majority of the SMG type players, which most people are, then, yeah, you know, it's it's that kind of thing. Now, I am using the Weevil. It's a 50 round SMG gun. Essentially, the only problem with it having such a big clip is they make it less powerful, so it does mean that if you're in a gun battle, say against the BMP, which is quite a good gun, or even the Vespa, which is a very powerful gun, then you're probably going to lose that gun battle if they're sort of watching you at exactly the same point. However, you can sort of combat that slightly if you do decide that you are going to put a rapid fire on this then it will help chances are you will still lose that gun battle but if you're going to do that then what you probably want to also equip this with is the extended mags and because of the increased recoil you might want to consider putting grip on it as well if you're going to do that and sticking on that primary gun fire me personally with this i ain't going to be using any secondary with this you don't really need to use any lethals whatsoever in this gun and same for tacticals. I don't really use any. Not when I'm playing pub matches anyway. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter that you're using that primary gunfighter to take that light extra class away. So don't worry about it all that much. Now, what you need to do with this map is if you look at it in the video manager bit on the Call of Duty game, if you zoom all the way out and take like a Codcaster look from the very top, you'll very quickly see how this map plays. I might even give you guys an example of this sort of in another video. But you'll notice the way to read the map, how it works essentially, because if you're pushing a lot of people on the right hand side, obviously they're going to push on the left, which may mean that you end up getting a split spawn or even totally swapping spawns altogether. Now you need to read this from where the players are on the map, you need to read it from where you're pushing and most importantly you need to know where the enemy is because that's the one that's going to either pick you up the kills or get you kills. Now I appreciate in hardcore it's a lot harder, if you are playing with friends that means you should probably consider getting on the mic with them, calling out where people are, where you've just been killed from, where you're pushing various errors like that. If you want to listen to the pro players playing this, you'll very quickly learn from their call outs, like what the names of the places are, where they're pushing, and it's very effective to be able to sort of do that, list it. I get so unlucky there, this annoying little git with the RC car, just deploying it out of the back of his spawn. How I sort of end up like that, I never know. It is just such bad timing. But I'm not going too bad off in this game, you know, I got really unlucky when I earned that Guardian earlier. Turn on this guy here. Oh, like, that guy. Twin Algar 9s, or whatever they're called, them beast-like pistols, akimbo, and yeah. He doesn't manage to kill me, so I, seriously man, put the controller down, step away. You know, it's, it's just one of those things. I get tagged there, really unlucky to get that sort of death there as well, but you kind of expect it coming when you've got someone using the vision pulse. It's one of the things that I love to use. One of the things that I hate using is the stuff like um, the glitch and bits like that. It's a really good perk, but I just can't get into the way of thinking like, I'm engaging this player, but I need to back out of this gunfight. I'm finding that very difficult to make the swap, even though it is an extremely useful thing. Like there, if I'd have used the glitch, I'd have been alive, I'd have got that kill. But instead of that, I don't have it. I just find, if I'm engaging in a gun battle, every Call of Duty 
was ever done for me. It's kind of developed my thinking into thinking I need to sort of win that gun battle. Not I need to escape from it when it's close quarters. But Glitch obviously avoids that. Now, if you can get into that way of thinking, then that is going to be a great advantage to you guys. Me personally, like I say, I love this vision pulse and it gets the job done. It's going to pick me up so many more kills. That's why I enjoy it. It's most effective for how I play as a person. Now, obviously, you guys need to find something that works for you. And there are many different classes. And depending on the different game modes you're playing, depends on really what you need to do. Kinetic Armor is another good one. Also find, and if you're sort of playing up Link, the Overdrive is also pretty good. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave that video there. As you can see, I was top for my team. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like. If you really loved it, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And hopefully guys, I'll catch you in the next one.